Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from his own room in his house, please welcome the one, the only, Tom Mixer! Hey, hey, hey. Hello! 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 How are you tonight? Woo! Yeah! <sighs> well, I've had a lot of time to think over the last few years. Um, and I was just thinking, oh, well, TV, children's TV, mainly series C, but uh, just in the edging of CITV, it was really weird in the 2000s. Nowhere else, like, especially in Britain, right, the United Kingdom, including in Scotland, is we would have a TV programme about a, a creature that half man, half crow. Uh, or raven, shall we say, that fl flies into a raven and says to children, you want to have my challenges? Come on. Right, you're going to be this bloke called Neymar, 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 and uh, you're going to do it, I'm just going to stand there going, right, you're banished. You're banished. <coughs> I'll just turn to red, but fly off. And it happened for a while, and then he, and then he, 2016 turned it passed over to this new woman that did the same job, but he just knocked about and went, You're right. Be able to be named one now. I did originally, but then he came back. He had a Scottish accent, and I've got not my impression of a Scottish accent, don't worry. And then what becomes later is that you see this man, right, this actor named Raven. Then you, you, you see years later he's now married to a woman who was Nina in the new one, some woman that had creatures in her head that helped to complete science. Like, she became really intelligent because they had to see people controlling her going, um, yeah, atoms, yeah, nuclear science. Yeah, and then them two get married in, this, in a TV programme that's on CBBS, which is a mixture of what she did with Nina in the new one and what he did obviously, with um, Raven. And they got married and you're thinking, oh, we're a scientist? A bloke that could do with Raven? Together? In this program and they're playing different characters but it's weird to see that they're connected and then if you go further back in time to i don't know let's say the 80s there was this children's program on thames television which was a part of itv called button moon what weird about button moon in my opinion is why is mr and mrs spoon called mr and mrs spoon and tina their child their child called tina teaspoon Teaspoon, Mr. Spoon, Mrs. Spoon, Teaspoon. Why on earth is there a child called Teaspoon with the last name Teaspoon and the parents are Mr. and Mrs. Spoon? Spoon, Teaspoon are not the same thing. Like, if, say, if my last name was um, Egbert and, um, and my brother's last name was uh, Egbert, but me parent, well, my brother's last name was Egbert, Egbert, and my parent's last name was uh, Cabbage, and my, and my mum and dad were called Cabbage. That wouldn't make any sense. Why are we called Egbert? That would not make any sense. So why is he in a sea spoon? A teaspoon! Is it, did they just all sit there by a uh, spoon? No, that didn't really work. Do you she um, graduate into a, tea, a spoon? If we call it a teaspoon. I know the last names work. I know the butter moon is a button for a moon and a hind's being can for a spaceship. I know. But it doesn't make any sense as to why she's called teaspoon. And and then it makes it it just makes it weird and, and then you're questioning why and then you just think to yourself it's a children's program that's not supposed to make any sense. Just move on. What me like. Um, a few days ago, funnily enough, um, when I was uh, j just thinking about general concepts for general things, I um, made some workmen come to the house to make sure that our metrics worked and just to make sure that bits of mobs needed to replace. And so for hours in the day, we had to have the electric off. So that they didn't electrocute themselves. That would be really dangerous and you wouldn't want that. We would have visitors coming over going, Oh, 
Good night, no, it's cute, it's would you? I don't Anyway, so they, they turn the power off, but you get warned. They say, right, I'm about to turn the power off, and you make sure all your devices are off, just so that we're um, safe when we turn it off. And we're like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I get the warning, yeah, but the power is going to go off now. To the, uh, what I didn't realise was that the chair, which I had propped up, which it, it's a chair, it's a sofa, it's actually a couch sort of thing. And then the chair, I had the uh, chair up, right, so I'm sat there with the chair up, and and we with the power is off, and I try and come and get up, pressing the button. I pressed on the button, I pressed on the button, and I realised, oh no, oh no, the chair's stuck up, and I'm trying to get off it, so I'm like, rolling it that way, and then I'm trying to roll that way, I'm trying to just bud scoops that way, I'm trying to step on it that way, and just stood, and my legs up like that, I mean, just trying to lose it, my legs up like that, and I'm stopped, I'm trying to roll that way, I'm trying to roll that way, and then I go, whoa! I, and like I did there, I fall off. And so I'm just trying to fall away. That, that was a very bad idea. So uh, hours have gone by and I'm still trapped with this chair up. And then they go, right, the electric's coming back on. Perfect. So I turn, head, go get the remote stems, tell you on, and well, well, I put the chair down. And that's the chest. And then I've to put the chair back on because I'm sat on it now. And what they didn't warn us that this time, the power went off again. So there I am again, trapped, with my leg in the air, on the chair, going, how do I get off this now? And so again, I roll in that way, and again, I can't roll really that way, because I saw the arm in the chair, so I'm trying to put the scooch over, try to don't break the chair, and then I'm going, what? And again, fall off the chair again. And so, kind of just cut your loss through the door. I, I'm just going to have to wait until the power's on, and it stays on with the chair up and not actually move anywhere because that would just be the most logical step. Well, it wouldn't be the most logical step, it would be the only thing I can do. And so I'm sat there um, watching, watching a film or a program on, on, on my own as I've come prepared um, and I'm there with my leg up going, yeah, I'm uh, stuck here for a bit, yep, yep, that, that is definitely, definitely the worst choice of my life. So, early this morning, um, no one else was up, and it was really early in the morning, and if you don't know, I do YouTube videos, and I filmed a video from my main channel, um, all about, uh, Doctor Who, and, because it's a Doctor Who channel, and, I, because I need to learn how to use audio properly, and fix audio, and fix a few other things, like, some bits in focus when you film in stand-up, um, and I have to wait for the AI to work for the audio. So I'm sat there going, and all I hear is this. Um, that's a better um, industry um, demonstration of the sound because the microphone picked up the banging of the table. And and you sat there, and I'm going, Ooh! scare the life out of me. I live in Britain, so it's probably hail, probably snow, probably anything. And the way my roof works, there's a window there. So I'm at the point where there's a window there, and I open the blind ever so slightly, and I see this splodge on the window, and I look at it and go, oh, that's odd. That looks a lot like snow or whatever. So I'm walking up like that, I'm walking at this angle, and I move my head down, I move my head down, and <gasps> scare the life from it. A crow was looking like that, I was looking at this angle, I was looking at that, a crow. So he turns his head, right? He locks eyes at me. And so we're both staring at each other directly in the eye, and he goes, nah, I'm alright, thanks, and flies off. I go, how rude! How rude! Of a crow to go, Nah, I'm alright. I'm alright, thanks. How rude. How rude of that crow. And I'm and I'm like... <sighs> so I sit back down and I think to myself, imagine if I'd opened that window, the crow would go, Wee! And fly out. And then I'd be thinking, right, what do I do now? Do I pick it up with my hand? No one else is up. Well, I had. No one else would was up, so if this crow did fall in into the admin, picking up with the man, 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 with the
get one of those fishing nets that you see on SpongeBob. Fish it up, fish it up, uh, 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 and just pick it up, pick it up. Whoa! And then you have to try launch it out the window, and the window's at that angle. So launch it up like that, you're going, Hoo-yah! you've been you've been doing it like this. Whoa! Get it out, get it out, get it out. You you've been putting your foot against the wall going, Get it out, get it out and then, then you are like, No It's falling back in and then you have to pick it back up again. And go, Get it out, come on Come on mate, get it out And you be arguing with yourself going, No, you're doing it wrong, no, you're doing it wrong, no and you be like, I'm going a little bit insane now And then you be picking up, picking up going, mm, Get it out Or you could get one of those uh, tweezers like uh, like those claw tweezer things that you use um, when you're cooking and picking it up and go, there you go, and then open another window and throw it out of another window. Or you can do a sensible thing and get a Tupperware box and take it outside. But obviously you, you wouldn't take the easy route. You'd be something in ages deliberating what to do and going, why on earth is crawl? this crawl would be going mental in the room and going, ah, 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 ah. Uh, a crow noise is, I think that's a crow noise. Ah, ah. And you're going, oh. But luckily, the window was closed. And I didn't leave the window open. So that was never going to happen. Right? Was never going to happen. Did never happen. And and you, th- and you think, whew. You're relieved. You sat there going, whew. As you're waiting for your thing to, to finish. So that you can continue editing and exporting the video. And go, whew. This is much better. I'm now so glad that this hasn't caused any dilemmas. It scared me half to death because it was pecking at the window. It didn't like the look of me, so I thought, oh, that's rude. And now it's gone. And he's probably told his mates, Kevin and James, that, uh, with two sisters, I thought that's what they'd name for his sisters. He thought, he's probably told them that there's this ugly fella that, um, that I locked eyes on. I thought, ooh, I don't like the look of him through off him. He's rude. The, these these crows are absolute rude people, and I've got my eyes on them. My arch nemesis for years was the pigeon, still is, but now my new arch nemesis are pigeons and crows. Crows because they don't like me. Pigeons because they put in my brother's head once, and I've not liked them since. Evil creatures, pigeons. Brrr. But crows just don't like the look of me. I don't like the look of you, crow. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it scared the life out of me. I've never seen a crow that close up before in my life. 